Hello ladies and gentlemen, today I'd like to introduce you to our newest product, the Creature Bundle. As you can see here in the first shot, we have different types of creatures, the troll, a werewolf, a cyclops and a mountain troll. Here's the default scale comparison through the LIBOR default height. As you can see, these creatures appear a little bit taller as usual, because we wanted to move a little bit away from our basic humanoid proportions with this one. But you could still um, scale these creatures up and down. For example, if you want um, to put the troll into uh, similar terms of height, but they will still have um, different uh, morphology proportions. Okay, but this is then up to you in the end. If you want to make these appear big or even taller, if you really want to have like a really big creature. Okay, so in the product as usual, it contains a couple of modular pieces as well. Here, as you can see, the troll, which consists of different parts, the skirt and the chest piece. I also added some boots and the bracer slots as well. The werewolf, same applies to the cyclops. He also comes with two different skirts, a shoulder piece and additional hair and beard. This guy comes as well with some wooden pieces for the bracers and for the crown. Here are some um, animation samples where you can see that everything is skinned correctly to the bones accordingly to the UE5 skeleton. I added here as well um, some cloth dynamics for the chains that they wiggle a little bit around when they move. Here's the cyclops, werewolf animation and the mountain troll. And he is a really big guy. Okay, how does it look in comparison to our regular product setup? Mm, let's start here in the front. I added here as well one character from the um, medieval armor bundle where you can see the uh, scale comparison. So to say, for example, if you were in a full frame, like in a real game mode, this could be a scale um, where you could work with these guys. So and if I would right now just start the simulation, as you can see, um, this is uh, exemplary uh, attack animation, which is not set to loop. Let me turn on the looping. Okay, here we go. Yeah, but this is then in the end uh, game logic and how you want to d distribute these. But everything um, is aligned accordingly and working as usual with skeleton meshes. The creatures also come with some additional morph targets. For example, as you can see here, um, they have different uh, types or this guy is smiling as well. So let me put off the smile. And there's also a face gesture for anger, right? So, and you can um, add additional morph targets I'm also willing to add um, the AR kit morphs if this is needed. So feel free to leave us a comment there in the description or on the product page um, if you would prefer this. There's also a different uh, face variation. The beard morphs as well with a face variation. So I add these morph targets as well. And um, also an additional layer of hair if you want to um, add more body hair for this guy. For example. Here with the braces. Let me go to the corresponding slot. Character parts, meshes, cyclops. Uh, turn off animation blueprint. Here you can see this is a modular component structure. So you have the naked one. And you can also uh, add here different pieces then in a blueprint. So this would be the shoulder piece and it all is then combined in our exemplary blueprint here. Let me gonna open this one as well. You can see it more clearly. It's now a naked guy and here you have um, different um, slots for boots. You can remove slots, add slots, um, however it uh, is fine for your project. And there you can um, drop in different uh, things. For example, if I choose these bracers right now, 
and I'm just going to put these in the uh, armor slot. Voila. And now the braces are as well part of this character. And if I would compile this, I'm going to go to the BP. I'm going to add the BP here. And here's the guy with the wooden braces. Okay, and same applies to the shoulder pieces, to the necklace, to the beard, to the skirt. You can um, dress these up or make them appear more naked. Okay, yeah, and same applies to all the others. The werewolf um, does not come with additional armor pieces. He is more like a, a fury naked brute guy, I would say. So no armor for him. Yeah, as well, um, some troll variations. You can also see the parts with the um, cloth and the danglies here on the shoulders, on the feet as well, a small chain with a corresponding physics asset. And as usual, uh, with material variations, uh, with different tint parts for the um, body itself. Small imp. Jumping here around. Yeah, and here the uh, mountain troll and the cyclops. They do share a similar morphology, skeleton wise, but they uh, the cyclops is more uh, obese, let's say, and the mountain troll is really more um, the long version of it with uh, two eyes, so a different type of head as well. As you can see, the hair has also a, a physics um, plane. It's also going to work. Yeah, and here are the werewolf guys as well in action. The animations are not included in the product. These are custom ones from the marketplace. It's a werewolf animation pack uh, where you can also see here the run. And here is a buff animation or an attack. I also have, uh, let me gonna check this one. I think I made a few here. This idol is also pretty cool. Um, let me give it this guy. I think he's pretty good with it. Use animation as it. Yeah, it's running around. Yeah. Yeah, this was just a quick overview. Um, feel free to leave us a comment or get in touch with us in case you need uh, some more additional animations. As mentioned before, I'm also willing to add um, additional AR kit uh, support uh, in case you need it. Um, this will take a little bit more time on my end, but it is uh, planned to do so. Okay. That's it so far and I'm going to wish you all a pretty great day and hope to hear from you soon. Adios. Ciao.